Yeah, I've had at least two people come up to me and be like, yeah, I heard you said on the car chaser about Alcala. <laughs> like, <laughs> I thought about that. I was like, man, we were talking a lot of shit about this place and then here, here we are. Here we are. <laughs> right here on Alcala. Yeah. <laughs> you should have saw him on, on, what was it, Thursday? Oh, oh, oh. Just half a second. Second. if he was like that today, he'd be like, fuck. Last. With, yeah, really I was bad. about to call someone out, but that'd be a little disrespectful. But yeah, pretty close to last. Mm -hmm. Brandon, get the f out! Can I get your guys' autographs, please? one cool part of the, at least the one rain heat race for like heat one like that was the most exciting shift race I think I've ever seen in this track. Because you pass. Yeah. You know, especially here. Here you can't pass. So it's like it's so so difficult. The first lap is so important here. For the yeah. start. Yeah. Like I remember the, the last race I ever won here was the shifter. It was like twenty sixteen. I was racing Garrison and all of them. All the heats were one two three. Like right? Yes. No one gaps no one and at the end, I started second, Oliver started first, and Garrett started third. Yeah. And in the start, I got the full shot for second. And for 25 laps, we maintained two tenths, me and Garrison, two tenths, Garrison, and Oliver. And that's it. Oh, the rain definitely threw a loop at the end. I mean, it was, it was hard to play in city. It was freaking who was going to go where. And the thing about the rain is, too, you have so many different lines that it's easy to just go right on the inside or switch up. And, I mean, it makes for like you said, you know, yeah, it was, it was, you know, it was good to watch. Yeah. It was good to race. I mean, I, th I think beyond the fact that everybody was miserably cold and wet, oh, you know, I think you enjoyed it watching was, it. It was like a dirt race. It was funny you know? getting back to the hotel, and uh, a lot of, a lot of us were staying at the Holiday Inn. Everybody was bringing suits and helmets, and I was like, get the air dryer out, boys. <laughs> <laughs> I sat there 30 minutes at night trying to air dry out my helmet. Too, like you know, you have Matias and Hollingston, and, you know, a lot of these home track guys, and then you have Pickett, which has never been here before. For me, that's only been here twice, and so we're all the same speed. You know, yeah. It goes to show you how simple and how close the track is. Really. Yeah, so, we'll see. Go kart's amazing, it was so good. I guess it's good as it was in Hollingston. Yeah, yeah. And it was super it was baller there. there. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, not as good, let's say, but no, okay, you can say it was good, but. Here, a tenth is like four anywhere else. Yeah. So if you're a tenth clear here, you know you're doing something right. So I think it's really good. For those of you here with us in the paddock today, and for those of you tuning in from live around the world, welcome to Ocala. Connor's obviously really quick, so if somebody can get out in front of him early, it should be a good race. But I mean, if he gets out quick, it, it'll be a difficult one for everybody. Uh, yeah, we've got more pace than pretty much the whole field so I'm just looking to get a clean first few laps and then uh, hopefully I can get a gap. I mean just gotta be smart and it'll be a long race so hopefully we do well. 
When we started our weekend, we were greeted with cold temperatures and rain. The sun has come back out to play here in Central Florida. This is the middle round of three. Your title contenders will solidify their chances here with a good run this weekend. 33% more points up for grabs. Connor Zillish has the field together nicely. Alex Stanfield on the outside. Good jump for Zillish from the inside lane. We're underway down to turn one. Stanfield able to jump down in line. They're going to scramble on the exit back for third. Nice breakaway here for your top two. Thomas Annunziata has slotted into third. Connor Zillish with a gap already. Back to Alex Stanfield here. Nice jump again for the rookie. Arguably the best start he has had all weekend. Nice and clean from the get-go here. At this point, the race is fully in Connor Zillish's hands. Just needs to log laps and pull away as the midfield battles behind him. Lots of drivers getting shuffled back early. Arias Duke Medjid is trying to charge forward, but Ryan Norberg is the big name who is back. The gap already opened up to over two seconds for Connor Zillich back to Alex Stanfield. It is a repeat of Pompano Beach in the process, leading from the pole. Dominating performance here for the Mike Doty Racing Tony Kart. Alex Stanfield continuing to impress here, makes it rookies one and two. And Thomas Annunziata with a great start, puts rookies one, two, and three. Unbelievable run for all of these drivers here, taking it to the senior veterans. Speaking of veterans, Ryan Norberg came into this weekend second in the championship. He did not get a good start to his main event. Now currently working on Pauli Massimino, trying to climb back towards the top five. Picked off another one. Ryan Norberg by Thomas Navo has brought Arias Duke Medjid forward. They are now looking fourth and sixth. Norberg's attempts at damage control are admirable, but Connor Zillish will not be denied here this weekend. He has simply walked away from the senior rock field at every opportunity he has had out in front. One more lap around Ocala Grand Prix. The gap is big enough, he could almost coast through to the finish. One year ago, he won here in Rock Junior. This year, Connor Zillich wins in Rock Senior. We had a rough race, fell back a little bit on the start, but able to get through and get some, some positions in the end. I had a good start, um, just couldn't really keep up with Connor. That's pretty much it. That was perfectly executed. Flag to flag from the pole. Got the jump. Drove away. Connor Zillish going to be leaving Ocala Grand Prix with a massive points lead. Uh, yeah, I, I did what I said I was trying to do. I got a bit of a lead on the first few laps, and then from there it was just uh, set sail. Uh, yeah, it was a pretty simple race. I guess you could say it got a little boring, but I basically held on to it for the whole race, trying to laps and uh, stayed out front. Awesome. About a week and a half off or two weeks off, right? And then we come right back yeah, here, go back yeah. the other direction? Yeah, buddy. And All right. we'll see how it goes. Ah, looking good so far. Congrats, buddy. Thank you. For North American shifter cart racing, it does not get tighter than this. You could predict your top five, maybe predict your top ten. I don't think anyone here is going to be able to confidently predict a race winner. Times are close. It's really hard to pass here, so we're just going to see what we can do. But, you know, top eight drivers are really close to the lap time, so it's going to be interesting. Well, I think the race is going to be an easy race. I hope they fight for a second, but if not, I think we're all the same speed, and it's going to be a fight to the end. Uh -oh. Went back to the motor hut was yesterday and uh, left the chassis alone. Hopefully we can have enough for these guys. The drivers have been saying it all week long. This start right here is going to be absolutely critical if you want to come out on the top step of the podium. It's time. Rock shifter off to the head flagman. AJ Myers, Matias Ramirez, green flag and give the whole shot to the magic cart driver. Great launch off the line for A.J. Myers. The round one race winner slots into P1. Danny Formel going to pressure him into the tree corner here on the first lap. Great launch for the Costa Rican. And the leading edge motorsports Formula K is right there in second here early on. A.J. Myers doing exactly what he needs to do to position himself for the win here today. Quick look over the shoulder from Myers. Two cart lengths to Formel, two cart lengths to Jake French. Matias Ramirez is right there. Four driver breakaway. Here comes Jake French looking inside for second. Formal has to give way. 
Jake French up to P2. That was a gutsy and well-timed pass by the Texan, and here he goes, charging towards A.J. Meyer. Not the best launcher for Austin Garrison. Oh, Vincenzo Saracino, Andrew Pajoso come together. It's gonna break the front end on Saracino's cart. Pajoso loses three spots. Heartbreaking for Vincenzo, you hate to see. Back up front, A.J. Myers continues to lead. Hunter Pickett into the top five. A.J. Myers managing the gap nicely back to second. It is holding even at seven to eight tenths of a second. He might reside now in Charlotte, North Carolina, but this Florida homegrown kid looking pretty solid out in front here in Ocala. Five to six driver breakaway, all chasing the 428 magic cart of A.J. Myers looking to go for back-to-back -back jacks in the opening two rounds of the Florida Winter Tour. Jake French still keeping him honest in second. Formal third. You have got a feel for these guys here. French, Formal, Matias Ramirez is still P4. The gaps are all just holding station between your top four drivers. A.J. Myers just making it frustrating for everyone behind him as he matches them stride for stride. Keeps the gaps even out back here. Final lap around Ocala for the 428. A.J. Myers is going to sweep the opening two rounds of the Florida Winter Tour. He wins in Ocala. Last year, A.J. nearly stalled the cart coming off the line and gave away a real shot at victory in 2021. It is redemption for A.J. Myers and Magic Kart USA. Yeah, not, not the result we wanted, but considering Ocala and my luck here in the last 10 years, this is a win for me, so happy for the team. Yeah. You know, good good job for AJ. You know, he just keeps us working and keeps us chasing. So, you know, hopefully we can get him next time. Talked about it. You just need the whole shot here. First couple laps, he got it, pulled away. The gap kind of stayed about the same. Jake was rolling, but in the end, he won again, buddy. Yeah, honestly, that was probably my worst start of the weekend. Uh, but luckily, Ramirez on the outside, both of us kind of dumped it. They held up for a long time at the out of the clutch point too long, and I got it. From all came out second, and yeah. It was a close two laps. Once I put a card on Formal, it seemed like they fought Formal. That's when the gap happened, and it was after that, it's the second all time. Heck of a way to defend the points, so you should be pretty comfortable going into championship weekend in a month. Yeah, yeah I think they're still close. I mean, like I think Ramirez, is like his worst finish is today in like a fourth. So, I mean, like it's not like he, anyone's had bad results other than I think Formal. So, uh, it's still all to play for, so I got to bring it still. Awesome. Well, congrats, buddy. All right, thank you. It's all right. Me and, me Ryan, and are you sick of losing yet? <laughs>